Hi everyone, just type a Y in the text chat if you can hear me. Okay, yeah, everyone can hear me, awesome. Well, welcome to today's video on balancing the light and darkness within everyone. So, so now without further ado, let's get this underway. So I thought what I'll do is teach on it using scripture. So we'll do that. So we'll go with Psalm 139 verses 12, we'll start off. So it says here, yeah, the darkness hideth not from thee, but the night shineth as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike to thee. So this is an interesting scripture because it says saying here that darkness and light really are one and the same because we've seen it. We have night and day in the sky, just as we have light and dark times in the world, which have been going on for centuries. <coughs> As the truth is, the light cannot come if there's no darkness, because as we all know, challenges and hardships is how we grow and how we become strong. So same with the light, the light cannot shine brightly without the darkness. Because I mean, even when you think about it, I mean, the father, the Lord, the father, and he, he's very much light and dark because we've seen his compassion and his mercy, but we've also seen the wrath and the punishment for when people depart from him. <clears throat> so really, I mean, we need, what we need to do is to not allow either side to take over. Because if you have too much darkness, that's how you get into self-serving and, and basically personal gain and hurting other people, only caring about yourself. But then if you have too much light, you get all the bullshit like the woke movements and all that other, and all that other crap and the love and light and bullshit kind of thing. So what, we, what you want is to find that balance between the light and the dark and to use both sides um, for their intended purposes. Because whether you'd admit it or not, everyone ha and you, everyone have, has got light and dark inside them. So, I mean, we need the light because we need it to, for healing, for compassion, thinking of others, but we also need the darkness to say no. And we also need the, we need the darkness to get shit done and um, the darkness to not give a shit about what other people think and to speak your truth. So really we need both and make sure that it's balanced. We cannot let either side take over because when, as soon as we engage in excess or we're extremes, it will never end well. The next one will go is 1 John 2 verses 9. And it says here, he that saith he is in the light and hateth his brother is in darkness even until now. So, so this goes deeper than saying that, that um, hating your brother, so like your sibling or your friend or whatnot. It goes beyond that. When it says hateth his brother, it can mean your neighbor, it can mean your friend, it can mean family and, and anything. So if you're saying that you're all love and light and all, but deep inside your heart, you still have unforgiveness and hatred towards some, someone else, then you're still in darkness. And it means, and it means that basically you've allowed that dark side to take over and you don't have, and you don't have that light in you because from the outside, we can lie and we can have people believe something different. But when we look inside the heart, the heart never lies and the energy of somebody never lies. And that's why it's important that we look beyond the, the physical appearance and we look at what's inside someone. And now the next one we'll move on to is Ephesians 5 verses 8. So it says here, for ye were sometimes darkness, but now are ye in light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. So what it's saying is that we, so we've all been through darkness at points in our life. So everyone has had dark times and we will continue to have certain dark times and challenges throughout our life until the day that we leave this earth in some way. And, and hopefully of course you're on that path to ascension. But when it comes to this, it's saying that sometimes we, we need to be in the darkness. Again, it goes beyond what people read it as. Sometimes we actually need to go through the darkness of the pit to get it out of our system before we can balance out. Because by getting it out of our system and just going through that darkness, 
then it will not will balance out and then we won't and we won't even think about going back there whereas the trouble is when you don't get out of your system you try to repress it or try to be all lovey and lighty kind of thing then it will always be there it will always be inside of you until you've gotten it out of your system so we'll go to 2 corinthians 6 verse 14 next but it says here, be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? So what that's saying is that if someone is clearly like a bad influence or someone is clearly in the darkness and is, is seeking to lead you astray, then what well, then you cannot you cannot yoke yourself or you cannot be associated with them. Because it says here, righteousness does not hang out with unrighteousness. It's like you would not. It's like you would not see um, a wealthy person um, hanging around with a bunch of, of people who just like to steal and basically destroy other people's lives. So I mean, it's all about your consciousness and where your consciousness is at. So when so if your consciousness is that of the light, and you and you have that balance of light and dark. You, don't, you, you do not want to be hanging out with people who are engaging in that excess and who have too much light or too much darkness because eventually you because you'll become like them it's like the saying with the bad apple the one bad apple spoils the rest so the the rest of the good apples won't make it good that one apple can corrupt will corrupt the rest of them so there there are times when we need to actually um, reach out to these people to actually to really to bring them to the truth and and actually show them the way and jesus did that many times jesus hung out with um, prostitutes he hung out with drunkards and basically all the outcasts of society and he brought them to the light and while we are called to do that it's more when you're hanging out with these kind of people you need to be doing it for the right reasons because if you're not doing it for the right reasons, that's when you will get into trouble and you'll end up becoming like them after a while. So it's very important that inside you, you, you keep a good balance of light and dark. And that, like we mentioned earlier, you use them for their intended purposes. So, and then of course, the light is all about healing, compassion, but the dark is all about getting shit done and helping you to say no. Okay, so now what we'll do is bring up the code to do a clearing for the for the light and the dark. So does anyone have any questions on that before we get into the clearing? Okay, no one has any questions or comments. Okay, so now what we'll do is do the clearing now. So everyone just focus on this code and inhale it into your chakras and your aura and just imagine it there and close your eyes and just start taking deep breaths and relaxing your mind <clears throat> we now call upon the divine protection and the bright white pyramid surrounding me and each person here And we call upon the five archangels, Uriel, Gabriel, Raphael, Michael, and Metatron, and Christ and Mother Mary. So only those who are aligned with the word of God and the Christ consciousness. And we clear and repel any false spirit guides, negative energies, outside interferences, or anything else related now. It is commanded 
by the laws of the golden liquid realms and our chemical powers that each person here be cleared of too much light or too much darkness within them help them to to escape and in, from engaging in excess and to balance their light and dark within we now clear any negative or dark energies within them as well cut any negative cords and help them to use the, their light and dark sides for their intended purposes now to asia in today And we also clear any blockages, imprints, or self-sabotage, stopping each person here from balancing their light and dark side. And clear any traumas around it as well. And clear any occupants or ids and bring back the golden soul fragments. <coughs> we also provide a third order escort to escort any discarnates to the astral planes justly earned now. contain any that resist and transport them to the astral planes justly and now We now bring calmness and peace of mind, body and spirit to each person here. And clear any disempowerment around this as well. Or any weakness. Get, fill them with your strength and your love, Lord. And really pour in your golden liquid light and send in the love from the Father and the higher councils. <laughs> <clears throat> and really re-energize each person here and bring back their vitality and life force as well
Facebook. Okay, so how's everyone feeling after that clearing? Okay, yep, yeah, so I guess everyone's shy today. So everyone now just take a glass of water to integrate that session. Okay, so is there any final questions or comment before we end for today? Okay, no final questions, comments. Okay, awesome. Well, thanks again, everyone. Another great session and another great clearing and all. And make sure you drink plenty of water once again and get a good rest tonight. And I'll see you all next week. Bye for now.